What are you doing with this tub? Oh, I am trying to understand about ecosystem in a pond. Tomorrow I have a test in school. And do you know about ecosystem? Yes, I watched a video on makemegenius.com in the morning. I know ecosystem very well. But can you help me make a chart about pond ecosystem? Why not? Let's make the chart. Do you know what a normal depth of a pond is? Hmm, I think it's equal to my height. Hmm, well, you are right as well as wrong. Few ponds are deeper. Many ponds have depth of 15 feet. That is equal to 5 of you. 5 of me? Yes, look here. Oh, these are 5 of me standing over each other. <laughs> yes, you are 3 feet tall. Many ponds are 5 times deeper than you. Oh, that is too deep. In that case, we should not enter the pond without a life jacket. Otherwise, we can drown. To understand pond ecosystem, let's visit a pond. Wow! This pond has lots of species as well as lots of plants too. To understand any ecosystem, we need to understand biotic and abiotic factors of that ecosystem first. I know! Biotic factors are all of the living organisms within an ecosystem. Like in this pond, biotic factors are these plants and animals. Yes, you are right. Now tell me the definition of abiotic factors. Abiotic factors are all of the non-living things in an ecosystem. For pond ecosystem, few of the abiotic factors are water, sun, soil under the pond, dissolved oxygen in the water, etc. etc. Very good. And let me tell you, abiotic and biotic factors are related with each other. Abiotic factors are very important for an ecosystem. If one factor is removed, it will affect all the biotic factors. Hmm, you are correct. If water is removed from the pond, there would not be any fish, tortoise or swan. You are a genius. That's a very good example. And if the water in the pond dries, many of these aquatic plants will also die. Oh yeah. Now that you have seen a pond, let's go home. And let's complete the chart on pond ecosystem. Oh, the weather near the pond was very nice. <laughs> yes, but we have to study. Okay. I have a question for you. Tell me a few more important elements of every ecosystem. Hmm, I remember two of them. Okay, what are those? Consumers and producers. Wow, you are right. Apart from consumers and producers, there are decomposers. Let's make a chart for each of them for pond ecosystem. Okay, let's first make the chart about producers. What is the work of producers? Oh, producers prepare food for consumers. They also produce oxygen so that the animals living in the pond can breathe. Can you name a few of the producers of a pond ecosystem? Okay, in a very aquatic ecosystem. What is aquatic? Aquatic means water related. Pond, sea, river, oceans, all are aquatic ecosystems. Okay. Every aquatic ecosystem has three or four types of producers. Phytoplankton, algae and plants. Some of the plants are underwater and few of them float over the water. I know about plants, but what are phytoplankton? Okay, let's see. <coughs> 
Phytoplankton literally means wandering plants. They are microscopic algae that float on the open water and give it a green appearance. They carry out photosynthesis using carbon dioxide that is dissolved in the water and release oxygen that is used by the bacteria and animals in the pond. Phytoplankton are not actually plants. They are protists. Thank you. Oh, I can see some algae also. That is why pods look green. Yeah, that's right. They also carry out photosynthesis and produce oxygen, often near the bottom of the pond where it can be used by decomposers. Also, the submerged and floating plants act as producers in the pond. Yeah, plankton, algae and plants are main producers in a pond ecosystem. Okay, now it is time to make a chart about consumers. <laughs> right, here we go. I can see fish, frogs and many other animals. Yeah, there are many vertebrate and invertebrate animals in the pond. Vertebrates are animals with backbones. In a pond, these might include fish, frog, salamanders and turtles. And invertebrates are those who don't have backbones. Hmm, what are zooplankton? They are microscopic animals that eat phytoplankton or small as zooplankton. Zooplankton float about in the open water portions of the pond and are important food for some animals. Wow, now I have learned so much about consumers. Can you tell me few things about decomposers? Here is the decomposer's chart. So fungi and bacteria are main decomposers? Yes, they eat dead plants and animals and decompose them so that they can be used by producers. So it is a full food chain in the pond? Yes, every ecosystem has several food chains. Can you give me some examples of a food chain in the pond ecosystem? Okay, look at this. Wow, it is so clear. Phytoplanktons and plants are producers. They prepare food and oxygen. This food and oxygen is used by consumers. Yes, zooplanktons eat phytoplanktons and small species like fish eat zooplanktons. Oh, look, a big fish is eating the small fish. And all kinds of fish and frogs get eaten by the crane. And when plants and animals die, they are decomposed by decomposers. Right. Producers, consumers and decomposers complete the food chain. I am very happy. Now I know all about pond ecosystem. Let's paste all these charts together. That is a great idea. Look here. Now I am an expert on ecosystems. How about you? If you too want to become an expert, you should watch this video again and again.